Hello, this is Kelly Atchison coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin, and today I have a video that's going to show you how to make this cute little treat holder, and it's just a sleeve over a triangular box. So the sleeve comes right off, you put your little treats in here, this would be great for small gifts like uh, chapstick, earrings, car keys for a new car, I always love that idea. You want to go down the uh, big and glamorous side of it. But this little sleeve just slides back on. So it can be reused over and over again. And we are using the Acorny Thank You stamp set today and the Acorn Builder Punch. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I've done here is I have a piece of early espresso cardstock that is 4 inches wide by 11 inches long. And I'm going to put that into the Simply Scored scoring board. We're going to score it at 3 and a half, 5 and a quarter, 8 and 3 quarters, and 10 and a half. Then you're going to need to turn it sideways and score at two and three quarters. Then the last thing you do before you take this off your board, we're not quite done with it yet, we're going to need to make some marks in our side panels so that it will go down into a triangle. And those marks need to be made at four and three eighths. And I'm just going to make a little mark here at four and three eighths and one at nine and five eighths. So can you see those little marks right here? That's where those are coming in. Okay, hang on to your stylus. We're gonna need that. I'm gonna bring in one of my piercing mats and a ruler. This poor old ruler, it's been through you know what, but it still keeps working great. You're going to put a score line from the little mark that you made down to the edge in the corner of your score line for your side. And I just find that the piercing mat gives you that extra bit of cushion to make a nice score line. So we're going to do that on both of these little marks that we made. like that. So you've got a triangle here and a triangle here. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my paper snips and I'm going to snip up to the score line that's along the bottom, that one that you made at two and three quarters of an inch, because this is the bottom, these are the bottom panels of our little triangular box. And I'm just going to cut that little piece off. We don't need that. And get out your, your bone folder so we can make some nice crisp folds here. And then we're also going to do the same thing along the bottom. Okay. Now, where we made those triangles in the edges, you're just going to take that and fold it a little bit so that those lines are going to be creased, just like that. And now we're ready to put our box together. The easiest way to do this is to use Fast Fuse. It's a um, type of product like Sticky Strip, so it's super, super sticky. So I'm going to turn my little tab in here. Use my fast views. Whoops, it didn't come out right down here. Sometimes it gets a little stuck in there, but I really do like this product. It's a lot easier than pulling off that red line tape from the sticky strip. Fold your box over, line it up. There you go. Easy peasy. Okay, this is the bottom of our box, and we're just going to fold it in like that. But first, we're going to need a little bit of fast fuse on the bottom. You're only going to put it on that big middle panel. 
And we're going to square our box up nice. And then I like to kind of push down on the inside here to make sure it's stuck. How easy is that? There's your little box. Super, super simple. Next, I've got a piece of designer series paper. And this is from the Into the Woods set that's in the holiday mini catalog. I've got this cut at three and a half inches wide by eight inches long. So three and a half by eight, whoops, by eight. And you're just going to take this and we're going to start on the bottom and you're just going to fold it over. So there's just a little bit of a tab there. Okay. And then I like to pull it away and make sure that it's straight. Now the one thing you don't want your sleeve to be too tight on your little triangular treat box because you want people to be able to get it off. So we're going to push it together, fold it over here, and then fold it all the way down until we get meet the other end. Make sure you've got some room here. We don't want it too tight. And now we're going to take our fast fuse and we're going to put it right on this little tab. There we go. And then wrap it back around your box so that you make sure you have enough room, like I said, to get your sleeve off of your box. There we go. Hold that, make sure it's on there straight. There we go. There's our little sleeve. How cute is that? Oops, I feel a little bit of adhesive there. Okay, now to decorate. What I did was I took a two and a half inch circle of early espresso cardstock. That's going to be the circle that goes on the front of my box. And then I took some more of our Into the Woods designer series paper, and I'm just going to punch out one of these flowers. Super easy, huh? I almost feel like I'm cheating, but I'm not. Okay. And I like to use liquid glue. So we're going to glue this onto our circle. And then for the cute little acorny thank you, I've got a piece of whisper white right here. Now you want to look at your punch and make sure that you're going to stamp these the right way so that you can get them into your punch without any trouble. So I'm using Tangelo Twist for my acorn top. You can see the punch is this way. So I'm going to stamp my little top of my acorn that way so I can get my punch in here. There's that. And then I've got the striped acorn bottom that I'm going to stamp in early espresso ink. And I'm going to stamp that this way. And I should have stamped it the other way. Let's do it right. I'm going to stamp that right over here so I can get it into my punch easily. Well, let's just try that again. Third time's a charm. We're going to stamp it right here. <laughs> you get the idea. Yes, we, we go through these trials and tribulations too so we can show you the best way to do things. We're going to punch that out, and that's going to leave the white part on the top for you. The other thing that I did was I took the Grateful stamp, and I stamped it in rich Razzleberry ink, and I ran this through my Big Shot using the Bitty Banners. Remember these? We've had these forever. They're fabulous. But this one matches our Bitty, um, our stamp, our Grateful stamp. And I've already done that for you here. So we don't need to do that again. I'm just going to glue my acorn top to my full acorn here, just like that. And then I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of it to pop it up. And we're going to adhere that to our circle. Just put that right in the middle. And then we've got our little grateful banner. Add some glue. Put that right in the middle. 
And now I'm going to adhere this to my little treat box. Just going to put it right in the middle of here. And then last but not least, I wanted to add some of our um, quarter inch, or I'm sorry, three eighths inch rich Razzleberry cotton ribbon because this matches the whole theme here. Here are my big scissors. So I'm just going to cut this and adhere it with the mini glue dot. I find that that works best. Right to the top of our little box. And isn't that just adorable? I found this idea online and thought, oh, I have to make this. So again, put some treats in there, or you can put a gift in there. You can do this as a birthday theme, a Christmas theme, baby shower theme. How about that? Or how about just little gifts for people that do special things for you in your life? So thanks for stamping with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Please visit my blog at astampabove.com. Thanks. Have a great day.